Welcome problem solving fans to another problem of the day and this one is all about working in reverse when we know that the perimeter of the rectangle is 33 meters we need to figure out the length of the rectangle. Well one of the easiest ways to do this is to realize that the perimeter is the full way round, the full distance all the way round the outside of the rectangle. Well if the full way round is 33 then halfway round must be half of 33. So if we half this 33, we'll get halfway round. So let's do that first. So 33 divided by 2. Well, 2's into 3 goes once with 1 left over, so carry the 1. And 2's into 13 goes 6 times with 1 left over, so carry the 1 but you can't just carry the one to an empty column. So in an empty column, you need to put a zero to fill the empty space. So that one now becomes 10. But also we can't just put a zero on the end of 33 because that will turn it into 330 and it still needs to be worth 33. So we need a decimal point with that zero. And now we can carry on. Twos into 10 goes five times. Obviously don't forget your decimal point. So half of 33 is 16.5. So halfway round the shape, if the full way round is 33, what we're basically saying is that halfway round is 16.5 meters. Now halfway round is basically one of the lengths plus one of the widths. That's halfway round. Because if you do both lengths and both widths, that would be the full way round. So one length plus one width would be halfway round. Now we've just said that halfway round is this 16.5. So the length plus the 3.6 for the width must be equal to the 16.5, which is halfway round. So if we just subtract the 3.6 off of 16.5, the number that which will be left must be equal to the length. So that's what we've got to do. 16.5 subtract 3.6. So let's work that out and hopefully we'll have our answer. 5 take away 6 we can't do, so borrow. Borrow from the 6 and it becomes a 5. And the one we've borrowed makes the 5 into 15. 15 take away 6 is 9. 5 take away 3 is 2. And 1 take away nothing is 1. Put your decimal point in. And the answer is 12.9. So the length must be 12.9 metres. Just to double check that, we could add up all four sides of the rectangle and see if it comes to 33. Well, if one of the widths is 3.6, then the other width on the other side is 3.6. And if the length along the bottom is 12.9, then it would be also 12.9 along the top. Now, if we add those numbers together and see what we get, let's hope that we get 33. So 12.9, add 12.9, add 3.6, add 3.6. Let's see what we get. Well, 9 plus 9 is 18, plus 6 is 24, plus another 6 is 30. Put the 0 in, carry the 3. 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 3 is 7 plus 3 is 10, plus the 3 that I just carried is 13. Put the 3 in, carry the 1. And 1 plus 1 is 2, plus the 1 just carried is 3. Don't forget the decimal point. So all four sides added together makes 33.0 metres, which is exactly what it says in the question at the top. So we must have found the correct length. It must be 12.9.